of dumping nuclear waste into Tokyo Bay and other locations has also been condoned by the International Atomic Energy Agency. The final question then is, who is monitoring all of these issues? The personnel exposures, the people in, um, in Japan, the dumping of waste into the Pacific Ocean. The answer is that TEPCO is being monitored by the International Atomic Energy Agency. And also, the International Atomic Energy Agency is determining what's an acceptable level of risk. That 2,000 millirem number has been condoned by the IAEA. Now, who's monitoring the ocean? 27 nations have formed a, a, a contract with the IAEA to monitor the ocean off of Fukushima. And lastly, who's head of the IAEA? The current head of the IAEA was a regulator for the Japanese government before he assumed the job. Now, I thought I'd share with you just one sentence from the IAEA charter, and you can go up online and confirm this. Article 2 of the charter for the IAEA says, quote, the agencies shall seek to accelerate and enlarge the contribution of atomic energy to peace, health, and prosperity throughout the world. So the person that you and I are expecting to be the regulator, in fact, has for his charter that they will promote nuclear power instead. You'll read and publish reports that this is a UN watchdog agency. In fact, that's not true. It's a organization established by nations around the world to promote atomic power, not to regulate it. And I submit to you that the root cause of this problem is that we as citizens have to take control over agencies like the IAEA in the next year we really can't wait longer than that because Fukushima is going to be releasing radioactivity to the water and the Japanese government are going to be dumping into Tokyo Bay for many years. This is the time to stop it. You recall that famous saying, follow the money? I think what's happening here is just that. We all need to follow the money. The Japanese government has made a trade-off. They've decided that they don't want to risk Tokyo Electric's financial viability. They don't want its financial exposure to be jeopardized. So the trade-off that the Japanese government has made has been to risk the radiation exposure of its people rather than risk the exposure of Tokyo Electric to bankruptcy. I don't think that's a fair trade-off. And I hope that all of us around the world, not just the Japanese, as, as citizens begin to use the Internet and force our international agencies to do what's right. Not for Tokyo Electric, but for the people of Japan. Finally, Fairwinds Energy Education Corp. is an IRS 501c3 tax-deductible corporation. I'd like to thank the thousands of people who have contributed already to the success of these 50 videos that we've put up since Fukushima. And I'd like to encourage you, if you haven't, to contribute before the end of the year. Most importantly, I'd also like to thank the many, many volunteers, volunteer transcriptionists, volunteer translators, computer programmers, scientists, and people who have sent raw data for us to analyze. It's your contributions, both financial and, and with your personal efforts, that have made this a success in 2011. Happy New Year.